Hey, welcome back to Java with Jeff. I've got my Bible and my beverage here today. And uh, if you, are you worried about anything today? Um, a lot of us, a lot of anxiousness and stressed out and maybe worry. Let me just tell you up front, the answer to worry is worship. The answer to worry is worship. Let me explain. So this past weekend, I got a chance to teach our high schoolers here on Sunday morning um, on Psalm 145. And Psalm 145 starts this way. Verses 1 and 2, I will exalt you, my God the King. I will praise your name forever and ever. Every day I will praise you and exalt your name forever and ever. Here's what's really fun about Psalm 145. It's the last psalm in the Bible attributed to King David. So a lot of people think it's the crescendo of praise from King David. And they wouldn't be wrong. So today, go read the whole Psalm 145 you get a taste of it. The second thing about Psalm 145 is the Jewish people, even today, read this psalm individually three times a day. Psalm 145 is read three times a day, in the morning, mid midday, and in the evening. Why do they do that? To get their minds focused on worshiping the one true God. And then the third thing is, is that this is an acrostic alphabetical psalm. What does that mean? That means that the Hebrew alphabet in order is the first letter of each of the verses of this psalm. You can go look at it and track it out. There's one letter missing. You'll have to go find out what that letter is. It's noon. There it is. But uh, you can go figure that out for yourself. But, but there's this, this psalm is just loaded with praise and worship. And I really believe with all my heart that it's just been true in my own life experientially. But I think it's true when we get our minds going the right direction and worshiping God worry goes away. When we train ourselves to be grateful, thankful, look and see what God's up to in your life, make a list of things that you're grateful for, start to worship Him for that, then all of a sudden your, your feelings follow that. And when you read Psalm 145, you're going to get this tremendous feeling of how great God is, worthy of praise, exalt His name, to Him be the glory, and you're going you're gonna to have a different mindset about the way you approach your day, I'm guessing. And your worry is going to kind of be put in its place, and your worship for God is going to increase. And I think it's going to be really good for you, and it's good for me. So I challenge you to read 145 today and go dig it out. And I hope that's encouraging you today, and we'll see you next week.